World Economic Forum, which is happening this time in Thailand, is happening at a very critical juncture. The majority of the world's population lives in Asia. Some of the fastest growing economies in the world are here in this region. There is incredible hope and opportunity. Connectivity has been the key word throughout this conference. It's a learning journey to see what are the best practices in the countries that have made it. When East Asia is integrated, we will have more bargaining power, we will have more attraction, we will have more opportunities. We will have to make sure that we can respond collectively to the expectation of the world. We must continue to promote regional cooperation and integration. We will use the strength of East ASEAN to be the synchronized as one. Efficiency will enable people and goods to move where they are best delivered. The discussions tend to focus on integration of infrastructure, streamlining policies and systems. It is also critically important that we start educating the next generation of transformation leaders. I think it brings new fire into the room and a new ingredient into the mix. So all the solutions that will come out of this um, forum definitely will have the voice of the youth. And social entrepreneurship will be the mainstream, providing opportunities and really improving the state of the world as we know it. Growth can occur in a region but be done in a way that is inclusive. The aspirations of people here are very high. They want to be a part of growth. There's a lot of opportunity for investments, for being able to upgrade the quality of life. The first wish of the people is to live in peace and stability. Nyama is in the transition to a system of democracy. Sustainable peace will be achieved soon. The World Economic Forum looks forward to making a significant contribution to the reconciliation process of Myanmar. We want investment to mean jobs, as many jobs as possible, not greater inequality. We all want a more prosperous, more peaceful world. That's what we mean when we say reform.